474 people, 249 boats. That's the number of pre-registered for Saturday's Kanduskeg Stream canoe race. That's about halfway to last year's record turnout. Tonight, I'll look at some of the more interesting boats in the upcoming race. We might call it good old Yankee ingenuity. These mechanical engineering students at Maine call it serious competition. The task? Build a canoe that can be used by someone with no arms. See, we've got the big advantage. These, these other guys have got the paddle wheels. And they're going to get all torn to pieces when they go over rocks. <laughs> We're going to glide right through, slide right over. <laughs> Your competition over here seems to think you guys are going to get hung up on the rocks. Well, you might. You might. That's possible, but... Well, at least they're honest about it. These six-man teams have put in hours trying to design these contraptions and... We decided we would have to have a write-up with this design here. We got a wheel on either side, more like a canoe paddling. So basically, think about it, same as paddling. Oh, oh it's uh, moved the head a little bit. We don't have a rudder down in the water to, to catch on rocks. It's pretty Adjustable. maneuverable, on paper anyways. They have found that what looks good on paper doesn't always work. But remember, they do have three days left to tinker and come up with something that might get down through Six Mile Falls. All right, guys, ram test. All right, they give them a test Saturday with no arms. Well, today, a trial run in Orno. Go! The canoes were tested, and they actually competed against each other in this race, a uh, maneuverability race. Remember, the boat must be operated without the help of arms. Anywhere I have to go to drive this thing. <laughs> <laughs> they will be in that race on Saturday morning. Of course, every race has got to... Mechanical engineering students brought their creations outside today. Jeffrey Hope covers this year's foot-powered canoe race at the University of Maine. Doug, stay on the other side! <laughs> These are the engineering students of tomorrow. Their class projects, canoes for handicapped people. But that's later. Today, the Stillwater River will show who's boss. Go, Doug! This team didn't do too well. In fact, they looked like they were trying to put out a fire. Is uh, getting wet a design flaw? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Does this mean a uh, lower grade after this mess? <laughs> oh, you talked to Herb about that one. <laughs> Does this mean a lower grade? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> the designs really look pretty good. We're pretty impressed with the looks of these things. Race number two was for maneuverability. But this handmade craft ran into another boat. Now, did you do that on purpose? No. <laughs> Fluid mechanics is what this is all about, sort of. The students say they learned a lot about trial and error, engineering and teamwork, and the payoff is pretty big. The canoes will be used this summer at the Pine Tree Society for Handicapped Children and Adults. They say that's what's made it all worthwhile. Jeffrey Hope, Channel 5 News, Orono. And that is Channel 5 News. I'm Don. I'll take it. Could be snowing out there.
Oh, why is it just beautiful? Good. Yeah, Thank you should give it a try, actually. <laughs> Maybe in a couple you months. You look too Back in 1966, not March or May, but in betwixt, I took my family down Kenduskeg Stream. Loaded up our white canoe, did like other families do, picture perfect Sunday picnic dream. They all sang, stroke, stroke that old canoe. 
stroke, stroke, stroke it till your face is turning blue. Tell my wife that I'll be late. Don't put supper on my plate. I gotta win this race in my canoe. Every year I've run the race, ended up in sole last place. Room I built for trophies still stands empty. In this 21st anniversary year, I can still grin ear to ear. Lure of winning strong enough to tempt me. So I drove up to the Mystic Tide, drank some Joe and by and by. Canoes were stacked three deep and wall to wall. When they were at last float, you couldn't wet another boat from Kanduskeg all the way to Six Mile Fall. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Fat belly and everything. Burn. No just worries. Just ate breakfast. We had a good breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, did you eat breakfast yet? Oh, uh, we did, yeah. If, uh, if none of us make it, I no. hope we all get A's in our test. Oh, yeah, sure yeah. Thing. Right. Did you see Dave? Oh. I bet they'll be almost 700. <laughs> Fall, anything? No, I think it's going to be a good day. Good day, yeah. We're going to have a stick together and have a good time. We're going to get pulled by everyone else, it should be all right. Did <laughs> <laughs> you have a big boat up? Yeah. Yeah. We're deciding how much to beat them by. <laughs> a lot or a whole lot? Always. No. Tender. Yeah. Up. <laughs> Any last words, Pat? Herb's, Herb's not going to let us ride Yeah, because we threw him in. Yeah, I know. I barely fit in, but it makes me look good when I'm in. <laughs> I see some kid up there. College, uh, weighs about 400 pounds. Took us about a month and a half to make it, and What's hopefully we're going to finish. It's made out of concrete. And it's got a little bit of a glass hold it together and so now. over almost and the rapids got caught up in a rock. Did These people rammed us, man. They were like really mad. <laughs> <laughs> These women, man, they just clobbered us. <laughs> we broke our paddle and they're cussing. Freaking boats, you shouldn't be in. How was it, Dave? <laughs> that was awesome. That was great. <laughs> hey, here's your map card. Right here. Hey, you got a 
go, Steve. Let's get out. The timer continues to drop off. Hey, Steve. Hey. How was it? It was awesome. <laughs> we could even hey, steer without. These guys were ahead of us. Oh, yeah. I thought you guys you were just going to. Well, we'll here. I can run up there and do it. No it's no big deal, Jim. I mean, you don't even need it, really. You're going to get soaked anyway. Yeah, but. I'm McLean. Let's see it, Tom! Nice flag, boat. Nice flag. Oh. Hey, whoa. They probably sunk. I bet they had Oh, they got a paddle up on the back. <laughs> they, where the hell are they going? They're going for the fall. Oh, oh. You guys going? Hey, you lost your wheel! Hey, you lost your wheel! <laughs> Look behind you! Stay in the water? Yeah, it's floating it's right there. Oh, yeah. oh. oh dive, dive! You have to get that out of there. That's pollution. Humane cooking team, right here. <laughs> Pull up down here. Okay. Hey, walk Coming back in. over there and get that wheel. Coming on the water here. Coming in. Did that guy go? Go, go. Wait, you gotta let the deck come out. Yeah. Right, There's Dave Dvorak. Okay. I don't know who's worse off right now. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, you are. No way. Keep paddling. You know, that works great. It works great. The seat back too far. And, uh, oh, really? So then whoever was sitting on the back could steer. But as soon as you adjust the seat for like little kids or somebody with yeah. short legs, it'll work, right? These folks coming out next just came off the set of Ben Hur. Looks more like a galley than a canoe, and they're ready for ramming speed. Crowd favorite Zip Kellogg again negotiated Six Mile Falls with his usual savoir faire, but race founder Sonny Coburn wasn't so fortunate. A record. 702 watercraft started today's race, and once again, New Brunswick kayaker Robert Lang was the first finisher.